busy day today. Got something new in the mail. Well, not in the mail. My friend's here from America and he brought some things for me. My GoPro batteries keep dying. And I got an extra battery and GoPro charger. Here, these are like almost double the price. In America, it's, here it's 4K. In America, it's 2.5K. So I ordered this in America. My friend brought it for me. Can't forget this. My brother came in the mail. And my brother sent me an Xbox Elite controller and a pair of Turtle Beaches with Dolby Atmos. So thanks, bro. I appreciate it. He also sent some Skittles that EJ ate them all. They're nasty anyway. They're like some yellow kind or something. They taste like sour. I don't know. I made my stomach upset. It's good EJ liked them because he finished them off. Also, what all did I get? Ah, yeah. In the Philippines, they have uh, their body filler stuff is much different. I couldn't find icing. I didn't want to put my friend through the search for that because it's like specialized stores. But I got Bondo so I can finish up my winglets for the bike and get those added. This is why you do videos right away because it's like four days ago that my friend got here and I can't even find where I put everything. Where would I put that? I wouldn't put it anywhere crazy. Oh, why can't I find this? Also, they gave me this soft cloth for the bike. Super soft uh, detailing cloth for my bike's final wrap. I don't think this will work, but this will be great for the TVs and computer monitor and stuff like that. More of my Croft and Barrel t-shirts they quit making. I got a bunch of packages of these, but you're just sending them little by little. Packing material. <laughs> a couple tool things they thought might come in handy, and I'm sure they will. But yeah, okay, so along with my Bondo to fix my winglets, I had one more request. In the Philippines, to mix up your uh, body filler, they have metal spackles like you would use in a house. They had no idea what I was talking about. You need rubber ones that bend. So I got a couple packages of these as well, just to make it easier. Philippines, you should have these. Do they have these in the Philippines? I can't find them. And Brian told me, no, you just use metal ones and scrape them together and this and that. No way. You'll see me use these soon. <laughs> you know, my brother was going to send me an Xbox One X. <laughs> he bought two of them, but he sold the other one because he sent me the headphones and controller instead. That's cool, though. EJ keeps stealing my headphones, so he was getting sick of the headphones I was using were making back feed and stuff like that. But all good. Happy with these. Ah, yes, yes, yes. Can't forget these. So, today, I got one more thing in, and we're going to do this today. I've been searching all over the Philippines trying to find carbon fiber vinyl for upholstery to do seats with, and everybody just thinks of the sticker. And I've gone to all the upholstery shops I could find, and nobody has it. So I ordered this from Amazon. Can you see it? See the texture? This is not sticker. See? This is what my seats will be wrapped in today. I also got white, but I'm not very happy with the texture on this. It just looks plain. It doesn't really give a carbon fiber look or effect. So I'm not even sure I'm gonna use this. Also for my GoPro, I got a 128 gig U3 V30 card from America because I'm told there's knockoffs here and those will mess up in your cameras. So, I was advised to stay away from SanDisk in the Philippines, though that's the probably one of the best memory, or the only memory card I know of that makes a V30. So, I ordered it from America, got that here. One more thing to show. <laughs> this is crazy, but in the Philippines, it gets so hot, and where nobody stayed here, this room, no ACs on or anything like that, it gets so freaking hot. See this TV? See the screen looks funny? It actually melted the screen on the TV. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? TVs are so expensive in the Philippines. Like, extremely expensive compared to America. So, I know they give a big hassle about shipping TVs and everything like that, but 
So we didn't go too big because it was going on the plane. We got a 40 inch HD 4K TV to put on the wall and replace that. Hopefully it doesn't melt again.